back Alanis and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make these gorgeous paper peonies. I am absolutely positively downright obsessed with these gorgeous paper flowers. So um, they are complicated uh, flowers so I'm going to get right to it. But um, just a little brief disclaimer, um, all of the paper and wire and um, all that kind of stuff that you see in this video is actually um, part of a paper ch chickadee kit. And Paper Chickadee is a company that I own. Um, <clears throat> and I design all the kits and I design all the paper and just I really just uh, take all the guesswork out of it for you so that um, you can just enjoy a wonderful afternoon making paper flowers and not um, stress about all the little trips to the craft store and did I get the right one and um, I don't understand this step like I really try to make it a well-rounded experience for everybody so that um, you can just uh, enjoy an afternoon making um, that being said <clears throat> all of the techniques that I use for this um, tutorial are uh, really universal so you can um, take a look at the video and um, I mean the templates not exactly included but you can kind of figure out like petal shape um, and that kind of stuff and you can follow along at home with just about any kind of paper but um, the paper that you're gonna see in this video is the uh, petal perfect paper from the paper chickadees uh, paper flower kits <laughs> Could I get paid for in that sentence one more time? I don't think I could have. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, and um, this actually doesn't come in the uh, kit, is a um, Q-tip. And um, for the most part with my paper flower kits, everything is included or the like little things that aren't included, like a Q-tip, um, are things that can be found in a grocery store. So there's like no trip to the craft store except maybe in this one because we are going to use like a styrofoam ball to um make the buds at the end of the video so um I'm, but you can always get those at like um like a dollar store and stuff like that too so it's not craft store specific um so yeah let's get started so this is a um q-tip and i'm just going to cut this q-tip in half with a pair of wire cutters just like that. And the reason why we cut these in half is because right at the center of a peony, there is a very odd little um, stamen kind of thing. And then at the center of the stamen are these like kind of um, Q-tip looking things. So instead of building them from scratch with like wire and floral tape, um, which I experimented with, the shape is so close to a Q-tip that all you have to do is really just go out and get a couple of Q-tips. Um, and actually the baby Q-tips would work really well for this too and is maybe a little bit closer to the shape, but I just had regular Q-tips, so that's what we're using. So now I'm going to cover this. Um, so I had two q-tips and I cut them both in half so now that makes four pieces that we're going to be working with and I'm just going to cover this um, q-tip with a little bit of the white floral tape that comes in the kit and if you've never used floral tape before it is kind of a weird thing it has almost no stretch at all which you can see like that like it's not going to get stuck to each other like regular tape would if you um, swathed it out like that the little stick that it does create is created by the act of stretching it. Oops. <laughs> the act of stretching it. So to cover a Q-tip with floral tape, um, it's the act of stretching it and tw twisting it. So we're just gonna stretch it and twist it just like that. And let's get those other two done. So it's just an act of stretching it and twisting it. Just like that. And last one. We're gonna stretch it and twist it. So floral tape is super odd and it only really wants to stick to itself when it's activated by giving it a little bit of a stretch. And when it's, um, it also will kind of sort of stick to some kinds of paper and usually the lighter weight paper is the better. Um, so I, the next step is to cover these things in a little bit of paper. So this is a sheet of um, stamen centers that come in the kit. And you can always 
always use tissue paper if you wanted to, but um, kind of light green and then maybe put a little dot on there. But what I really like about the kits is how they save time. So um, instead of having to source some, some pretty little light green tissue paper and make a little dot on there, that's all, already, all taken care of for you with the kit. So now I'm just gonna separate these into their different little um, pieces. There's uh, come in sets of four, obviously, because we just did four little Q-tip shapes. And I'm gonna say this once, and I'll probably say it again for different aspects of this kit. But honestly, if you don't like making the stamen, um, especially these like little green nubby parts, you absolutely don't have to do it. These are hardly ever seen at all and um, they are included in the kits because when I make a paper flower, I want to include all of that detail in the actual uh, flower itself. And then when I make the kits out of the flowers that I design, um, I just include it in there because all the work is already done. But it's absolutely up to you. The flower will look almost exactly the same whether you um, whether you do this little uh, center part or not. Like it's completely, totally optional. So now we're just gonna take one of our little Q-tips and we're going to cover that. So we're just going to fold it around the top like that and then just twist it. And as you twist it, press that paper into the um, floral tape that's covering the Q-tip and that actually just ripped a little bit. Don't worry about that. Just keep going or not. I mean, you're only really going to see the tip of these little things anyway. So um, don't even stress about it. Like And like I said, if you don't like doing this part, you definitely don't have to. So look, and now for sake of video length, because I have a feeling this video is going to be quite long, we are watching this in fast forward. So we're just watching all those pretty little stamen pieces come together so fast. Awesome, so now we have our four little um, stamen pieces all put together and covered. And now we're gonna switch over to the green tape Actually, let's do the center one with the white tape again, and then we'll switch to the green tape when we start doing petals. So now we're just gonna give this a couple of coats of floral tape the same way we um, did before. It's just the act of stretching it and twisting it, just like that. And let's do a couple for the hand cam too, just so we can see it. Awesome, we're just gonna, oops. We're just gonna stretch it and twist it. And you really don't have to be too dear with it, honestly. Like it's um, it's really um, floral tape is weird, and you will get the hang of it. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> It's just one of those things that takes a little practice. I um, And I always make sure to include like a really detailed explanation of how to use floral tape because when I was first starting to make paper flowers, I couldn't find one anywhere. So I always make sure to make a really clear detailed explanation of floral tape because when I was starting to make um, my first paper flowers, I always found the explanations for like floral tape very lacking and because it's so, such an odd thing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all four of these pieces and we're just gonna kind of position them around the, and I like to do it all at once, but if you wanna do it one at a time, that works too, just like that. Awesome, so now I'm just gonna, <clears throat> oh, sorry about that having a little bit of allergies issues today because of the wildfires maybe? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> okay, so I am just securing those Q-tip pieces to it. And um, they might feel a little bit loose, but if it does feel a little bit loose, just um, keep on going with the floral tape and it should um, tighten up. But you want that stamen um, to be a little bit I mean, honestly, I think that the Q-tips, you can definitely skip it, but if you are, um, I think that the extra bulk that the Q-tips create do make it a little bit easier to add on the um, petals later. So that's just something to think about, but I definitely do think they're optional um, in the same light for sure. Awesome. 
So we have that all done and now we are going to take out some yellow paper and the yellow um, striped paper that I have here is included in the kit. <clears throat> And it's made of the same um, paper that we made those those little green stamen parts out. So they're going to stick to the um, tape pretty well too, which is always nice. So I'm just going to trim the white from the top and both of the sides. So you don't really have to worry about the bottom. And I leave the bottom in just because I do have kind of big hands. And I like to have a little bit more to hold on to. <clears throat> So now we're going to fold it in half once, fold it in half twice, and fold it in half one more time. And now what we're going to do is we are going to take our scissors, and this is a kind of a little trick that I do to get an extra fine fringe on um, a piece of paper. And if you don't ha have the kit and you're just trying to figure this out um, just by watching the video, um, go ahead and try maybe some like yellow crepe paper streamers. I always think that that would be a good alternative to the yellow um, that we're using right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it and then we're going to rest the f our finger, our scissors, right on this uh, middle finger that we have, and then make sure everything is positioned kind of so you're holding it on the edge. And now all we're going to do is so our fingers, our scissors are resting on our finger, and now we're just going to open and close that scissor and not really think too hard or long about where that cut actually ends up landing. And that one, I thought about it. See, cause when you think about it, you're gonna get kind of like a bigger, like a bigger chunk and we don't want that. We want a nice fine fringe. And then we're gonna flip it around, rest that on the finger again, and then go ahead and go in from the other side. <clears throat> just like that and you will get like some pieces that are a little bit bigger and some pieces that are a little bit smaller and that's fine that's like exactly what happens in nature too awesome so now we have our fringed um, stamen parts and we're just gonna unfold that and the reason why we folded it in half three times like that is just to make it a little bit um, faster and easier to fringe um, because I could either have fringed this whole strip or I could have fringed a, um, you know, sixth of it. And I went for the sixth of it because it's way faster. <laughs> okay, so now I am going to just wrap that stamen part that we made with the Q-tips. We're going to just wrap that in um, this fringed paper that we just made. And I like to make it so that there's like a, there's a yellow side and a white side. And I like to make sure that the yellow side is facing outward. So we are going to watch adding that in zoom. And you have to be careful with floral tight tape. You want it to be um, nice and tight, but you also don't want it to be too bulky. So it's really finding the um, nice little middle ground um, for that. And then there we go. We have our stamen all done. As a last little piece, I like to just kind of scrunch it up and curl it so it's all going inwards like that. And I just think that that looks nearly identical to a real peony stamen. And I am just thrilled at how good, um, I mean, every little detail of this flower is just really well thought out. Um, uh, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to get out our sheet of petal paper. And each piece, each um, sheet of petal paper on this one creates one peony. So um, so it makes it a little bit easier. You don't really have to like keep track of like, oh, it's, you know, anyway, one sheet equals one peony. And the first thing we're gonna do is cut this bottom strip out. And this bottom strip is divided into two pieces 
And the petal shape on these two pieces are like minutely different um, just because I kind of did have a chance to make them a little bit different and every single petal on a peony is completely different in a really kind of astounding way. So I really tried to simplify it down into its like four most basic of petal shapes. <laughs> Awesome. So now we're going to separate these out. And the reason why I did half a um, half a sheet on this one is just because I, when you accordion fold them, which is our next step, what we want to do is, um, oh, when you accordion fold it, it's a little bit too thick if you do like a full strip. So that's why I separated it out into two different um, sizes. And now, we are going to um, accordion fold this. So, basically what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna all lined up on my nice hand cam. So you can see that there is a template printed onto this paper. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to accordion fold this so it's as close to the template as um, you can manage because the closer you get to the template, the more petals that you'll, um, you'll yield out of one strip. So now we're gonna watch that in Zoom because um, we're going to be accordion folding so many petals for this flower. So that is your um, petal all accordion folded and now we're just gonna cut it out right on the template. Actually not right on the template. Let me be clear about um, this. Especially with a peony, you do not have to cut out on the line at all. Your peony is gonna come out so much better if you give it a whole bunch of little funky divots and turns and little weird parts. Like peonies just have the weirdest petals. So the more wild you get with it, the more it'll look like a peony. <laughs> awesome. So that's all cut out. And now I like to take it in a stack and then just give it a little bit of a roll right in the middle, kind of center bulky middle part of that um, that petal. And the reason why we do this just is to kind of give, um, give it shape because um, it's such a voluminous flower that you really want to um, attend to like every kind of teeny tiny little detail. So to fold this first one, the first thing that we're going to do is give that petal a little bit of a crinkle a little wrinkle crinkle right there right at the top and basically i like to think of um peony petals as um as a ball so they start out like as a tight little ball and then they bloom out and so those center petals are going to be kind of really scrunched in because they've had they've been crammed into that little tight ball for so long so those inner petals are going to be like really crunchy and scr scrunchy but then those outer petals are going to get like in gradually rounder so um that's just kind of a little um what we're going to be shooting for so now we are going to, we have the crinkly bit, so now we're going to fold this petal. And to fold this one, we're going to hold it in a pinch and we're gonna nestle our thumb in there and then let go so we're holding it with the opposite hand now. And now we just wanna take that and press it in the opposite direction. And that kind of creates a little bit of a, a little bit of a cup shape, just like that. And we are going to watch that cup, the petal shaping um, in fast forward so you can see the zoom. And so we zoomed right through um, doing this other second half of the um, flower just for time's sake. So now we have our two little petals. Um, we have them, I have them separated out into the smaller ones and the slightly larger ones, just so we know that the smaller ones go um, closer into that um, stamen and then the, um, the bigger ones are the next one. So I'm just gonna take out the green 
um, floral tape now and we're going to attach them to the stamen. So you do that by just kind of holding it to the stamen and then we're just going to stretch a piece of floral tape around just like that until it meets itself again. And that's where I kind of was like talking about um, not wanting to bulk up the, um, the bud itself too, too much. Um, and you can, like if I were to go around for a second time or a third time, every time I put down a petal, that's really gonna add into like a lot of, um, a lot of extra bulk onto the bottom of the bud, which we don't necessarily want. I mean, there is room and it will get a little bit bulky. So don't worry if yours feels like it's getting a little too big because we'll have some um, other paper to cover it up, but just like that. And we'll do one on the hand cam too. And you really don't have to worry too, too, too much about the petal placement of this flower. Try to make it like nice and round and evenly distributed um, throughout, really round and distributed um, around the stamen because that kind of sets the tone and will make it nice and round and even as we keep on adding petals. But um, don't worry, it's not like um, some petals, like I always say that like the fewer petals you um, the fewer petals that a flower has, the more important petal placement is. But peonies seem like they have hundreds of petals. Like granted, we don't actually make hundreds of petals for like the paper peony that we're making in this video, but like it sure looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> so because they have so many petals, we really don't have to be dear about their placement. So now we're just gonna zoom through the addition of these petals. So now we have all of our petals attached and they look really good, but um, to give them a little bit of extra flavor and a little bit more of a like peony feel, we're just gonna take them and give them a little, a little zhuzh, just like that. And we really just wanna kind of, kind of think of a, a ball when you're doing this. Whenever you're kind of um, putting the petals on, especially as they start to get bigger and bigger, um, just kind of think of it almost like a little ball. Just like that. Doesn't that look much more like a peony? Just after that, just because that little bit of motion, it really helps it uh, bring it alive. <laughs> so I'm gonna set that aside for now and we are gonna get back out our petal sheet and cut out the middle, the middle row of petals. So first we're gonna detach that middle row from the sheet. Just like that. Oh. It's hard to kind of get in between the white. Just like that, perfect. And again, we are going to uh, trim really close to that petal template. And we are going to accordion fold that. Um, and we're gonna watch that in fast forward. Now we have that all folded up and there's a little bit of extra paper um, right at the end and I kind of built that into the strip so that if you ended up not getting it quite as close to the template, um, you'd still be able to yield plenty of flowers. So that's just a little bit of the extra wiggle room that I built into the strip. So now we have our, um, our middle petals all done and you can see right there there's actually a darker little triangle on the side um, that the template is printed on and we're gonna cut out that dark little triangle first. You don't have to be particularly careful with it. Just any old V more or less that size will do just fine. And now we're gonna cut out the rest of that petal. Um, the same way we did before, do not cut on the template. Um, use the template as a guide for sure. 
That's more or less the size and shape you want the petal to be. But you also want it to have all kinds of funky little divots and, and bumps and, and squiggles. Like you want it to have all that because that's what um, is really going to make it look like a peony because man, oh man, in a peony, no two petals are the same. <laughs> like it's just, just a fact. <laughs> because I tore apart a ton of peonies to actually um, uh, find the perfect little um, medium point between them all to uh, make the um, templates out of and the kit out of. So now we just have a little bit of um, glue and you can use a paintbrush if you want to for this part. Um, I just really like these foam ones and I probably should have gotten out a paintbrush to make the um, video, but you always forget something, right? <laughs> and I like using these little um, foam brushes. So what we're going to do is we are going to get out just one of these petals and the first thing we're going to do is just put a teeny bit of glue right on um, one of the sides of that V that we cut out first. And then we're just gonna close that gap. And you're gonna get kind of some, some weird little moments like that's, um, that's a little too spiky for my taste. So I'm just gonna smooth that out a little bit, just like that. And you can get as uh, detailed and into the details or as, um, or as like strict and to the point, ma'am, as you'd like with these flowers. <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna do the same fold that we did before. So it's just an act of pinching it. We're gonna nestle our thumb in there just like that. And then we're gonna hold it with a thumb nestled hand and we are going to fold it in the other direction, just like that. And that makes a nice little cup. And this actually has like a little bit of a weird kind of like pointy moment to it as well. So for that, we're going to take a spoon and just rub it on the points just to kind of smooth it out. And that's definitely a step you can skip um, except for like the very outer petals, but I like to do it for the, all of them. So now we are going to watch all of those gorgeous petals getting... Um, folded and we're going to watch all of those gorgeous petals getting um, smoothed out and we're going to watch all those gorgeous petals getting attached to the flower and fast forward to just save a little bit of time but to make sure that you guys aren't missing any like key details. Do you feel like any of the small little subtle hand movements or details get missed in this fast forward? Um, all of the footage that I built that out of is on the same YouTube channel that you're watching this on now. Um, it's uh, called the Paper Peony Slow TV and that will have um, kind of, uh, that's not sped up at all, that's just real time. So now we have our pretty little peony, just about almost exactly um, done. It's almost done, but we're just going to do the last little um, petals. And um, I'm going to round these out a little bit, just as a kind of like, I like to do it in between each of the, um, the, the petal stages or each of the petal strips. I like to just kind of give it a little, a little squish just like that to keep it nice and like a um, uh, ball. And I like to make it like a nice little ball because um, that's really, uh, if you look at nature, that's what nature does. It starts it out as a ball and then it explodes into a bunch of pedal petals. So now we are going to take out our final petal strip and we're gonna trim it really close to the template, just like before. We're going to accordion fold this just because um, when you accordion fold petals, the reason why each of the strips has that specific step is because um, you can accordion fold the petals and then you only have to cut out, you know, do one cut and you'll know, we'll yield um, between a dozen and five petals depending on the size and shape and all that kind of stuff. Or you can, um, you know, 
cut out 40 petals individually. And so I think just cutting out three petals and yielding all the petals that you actually need um, is a nice little trick and that's uh, why we accordion fold them. And this one is actually ended up being not as close to the template. So it, this like opposite of what happened last petal, this one just, um, it uh, fell a little bit short, but don't worry, just cut it out anyway. There's enough of it that um, it'll work out just fine. So now we're going to cut out this and unlike the other two, oh, actually, before we cut it out on the template, we're gonna cut out the little triangles. Lined up for our my hand camera. And this one has three triangles. So we're gonna cut out that bottom triangle and then the two side ones. And we don't wanna get any, we don't wanna put any um, kind of extra flavor, let's say, on um, these largest of the petals because um, these are the out, most outside petal and they don't, um, they haven't been really scrunched up at all if you think about it like from like a real peony standard. Um, they, are the um, roundest, most outside layer of that peony. And now we're just gonna cut out pretty straightforwardly on the line. Like, don't, don't be dear with it. Like, you don't have to like really stress out, but you really want it to be pretty close. You don't want any extra squiggles or dips or divots or anything like that on these this last set of petals just the way they are, because we want these to be extra, super, ultra round, just like a peony. So now we have that all cut out just like that, and we are going to um, do a very similar um, motion to what we did on the um, middle petals, and we are going to just add a little bit of glue right to the edge of one of the first V's that we did at the top. And you can really do this in any order you, you'd you like. Um, I just like to do the top first and then work my way all the way around. And now we'll do the second one. Oh, getting too much glue on my hands. <laughs> And now the bottom one. And when you go to close up this bottom one, um, I like to kind of shoot for, um, I call it the lady, the way a lady should cross her legs, which is at the ankle. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line them up. And then, see, that would be like too much. That's like crossed at the knee. You want it to be crossed at the ankle just like that. And we're gonna give this little tail a little bit of a curve. And the top of that is a little bit, um, a little bit too angular. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim, trim that. So it's nice and smooth and round. And you might have to wait a minute or so um, before you do the um, smoothing out with a spoon because you really just want those glue bonds to um, set up. But then you just want to rub out those, um, those kind of peaks that are created with um, those glued uh, pleats. We want to smooth out that little triangle that happens. And all you have to do for that is just rub it with a spoon, just like that. And now for the last time, we are going to watch this part in fast forward, or at least this last time for the petals. Um, we're gonna watch that in fast forward and um, see all the petals being made and shaped and smoothed and cut and tweaked and all of that happening right before your eyes. Is Wouldn't it be nice if we could actually move that fast? But unfortunately, we can't. So we just have to watch the video and do it in real time. <laughs> I actually wanna show you how to um, do these, attach these petals um, 
because we're doing it a little bit differently. We're gonna do it with glue this time. Um, and I think that um, I like using the floral tape to attach all the rest of the petals too, but if you don't like using the floral tape to attach petals, you can use glue. You just need to hold it for a few um, a few extra seconds per petal. And on a, on, a, on a paper flower like this one, a few extra seconds really add up. <laughs> But if you feel like you can make it do it a little bit faster with glue instead of with the floral tape because you don't feel comfortable with the floral tape or you just don't like it, that's absolutely fine. So I just added a little bit of glue to this um, bottom portion of the petal. And now I am going to position it to the stem just like that. And then I just want to hold it there for um, for just a little bit, just for a, a moment or two, just to let those glue bonds really set up because we really want um, the glue to get nice and set. Awesome, and now I will walk, now I will show you the rest of um, these in fast forward being attached. So now we have all these bigger petals on the uh, stem and um, this one's looking a little bit extra bloomed and um, opening wide and then sometimes you'll get some that come out really tight and closed up and um, just go with the flow. I mean, you really, I like paper flowers because um, there's a certain amount of unpredictability with it, which is like kind of fun and exciting. <laughs> and now we have a little bit of floral tape and we are just going to I'm gonna get these so they kind of are nice and closed up like that because I think it's easier to put on the floral tape if everything's all closed up and then we they'll explode again when we let it go. But we are just gonna add a little bit of floral tape to the base there just to make sure everything is nice and secure and in place just the way it should be. You don't have to go too, too far up with that floral tape. We just want all these petals to stay on and floral tape for all of its lack of um, really tackiness um, that you would find in like a traditional tape, all of its uh, lack in tackiness really, it makes up for it in like what it does stick to and it sticks to itself very well. <laughs> that looks good enough to me. And we'll take a look, we can scrunch it up nice and small and see how that is. And oh, I think this one wants to be nice and wild and wide though. I think she looks way better like that, don't you? <laughs> Now, as a final step on the bloom, I am going to get one of these neck pieces. And we're gonna cut out that neck piece. And we'll watch that in fast forward. Wow, that took no time at all. These really are easy to, uh, so we've got that little neck piece um, cut out and it comes in its own sheet that's half neck pieces and half leaves. And a quick note about the leaves. Um, I am going to do a separate video devoted just to the leaves because there's some extra little tips that I want to put in there for you. And now we are just going to attach that neck piece by just wrapping it around like that and then securing it with just a little bit of floral tape. So you can kind of see a nice close-up view of it. And we don't have to be too dear with it. Don't worry about it getting, um, getting too wrinkly. That'll be fine. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of floral tape. Just like that. Perfect. If you wanted to add a couple of extra layers of floral tape at this stage to make a nice thick stem, that can always look really nice too. So add as much or as little as you'd like. 
Awesome. So now we have this absolutely gorgeous paper peony. I am absolutely, positively, utterly obsessed with these gorgeous paper flowers. But to make a paper peony really stand out from the crowd, we are going to add a bud. And the bud starts with a styrofoam ball. And unfortunately, I used some very sleek and stylish eco-friendly packaging that doesn't quite have the size for a styrofoam ball in it. So for the most part, I really do try to make sure everything in the kit you could um, either comes in it or you could get at the grocery store, except for these styrofoam balls. And for size of styrofoam balls, I really like a two inch ball, which is what these are. And, um, but you could also, you know, get like styrofoam balls. I've seen them at many um, uh, dollar stores too. So that's gonna be a nice way to um, maybe not like go all the way to specifically a craft store. So what I'm doing now is I am just gonna give this styrofoam ball a quick coat of floral tape. And we're gonna watch that in fast forward. So now I'm gonna cover this uh, floral wire in some floral tape. And I am leaving the top kind of um, inch and a half completely free because that's gonna make it much easier to pierce into that um, foam ball if it has uh, a little bit of exposed wire, but we want the rest of it to be covered. So we're just gonna cover that in a little bit of floral tape just like that and we can put away the white um, now because it's going to um, it's going to we're not going to use it anymore <laughs> okay so now we just kind of want to take a look at it I like to kind of get like a nice nice wide view of it and we really just want it to look like it's going like right through the center just like that oh I made it there, that should be fine. It did poke through a little bit. This is the first time I actually ever had that happen. Isn't it funny how like things will happen in videos, like only then? <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna activate a couple of pieces of floral tape just by um, stretching them out and ripping them. And I think that by the end of a flower, especially a flower this complicated, you might start to get a little bit of um, wax buildup on your fingers. And that makes your fingers like a slightly a little bit sticky, especially when you're holding the floral tape. So if that happens to you, just um, rinse off your hands. You can use soap and water, obviously. But um, I find that like a, like a hand sanitizer will work really well for um, this kind of, um, to get, to really just like clean off that like film that will develop on your fingers. And now I am just going to, here I'll line it up on the hand cam so you can kind of see it a little bit better. I am going to attach this by um, just kind of pressing that floral tape right in just like that. And I also do this, okay, so the reason why we do this is twofold. We wanna do it because the um, we wanted the ball to get really attached to the wire for sure. That's the number one reason why we wanna do it. But the secondary reason why we wanna do it is when we put on the covering paper that's gonna really make this look like a peony bud, there might be a couple of moments where um, the green will not completely cover it. And so this is just gonna give you a nice little opportunity to not have to be quite so um, perfect about the placement for the next step that we're gonna see. And we'll watch the rest of these getting attached in Zoom because it takes a little bit of time. And now all these 
different pieces of floral tape. They're sticking really well to the floral tape we covered our foam ball in. They're sticking okay to the floral tape on the wire. But just to make sure those all those pieces are gonna stay right where we want them to be and they're not gonna, I mean, horrors of horrors flake off, we are just going to attach them with a little bit of floral tape. <laughs> Perfect. And now we have our sheet of bud paper. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out one of these circles and three of the side parts. And we'll watch that in Zoom just, just to save some time. So now we have all of our pieces all cut out and um, I apologize if you can hear my neighbor screaming. Um, I live in an apartment building and there is something about this time of day that that baby girl downstairs does not like. <laughs> so we might be hearing a little bit of her enthusiastic tantrum. <laughs> So what we're gonna do now is we are going to um, take our glue and we are going to, actually, you know, I poked out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take, and I was gonna glue up my, there. I just wanted to get a little bit of that, that, um, that wire poking out a little bit more flush to the ball. So now I'm just gonna add some glue right to the top of that ball just like that. And we're gonna center the circle that we cut out, kind of try to try to center it, but it doesn't matter too, too much if it's a little bit off center. Don't worry too much about that. It's gonna look great either way. And the reason why we covered it in white floral tape at first is because um, you can kind of see the green peeking through on um, this paper. And I kind of like the white to just kind of be a like nice neutral um, backing for this. And then it's just a matter of doing the other two little side parts. And so we're just gonna add a little bit of glue to the side like we did before. Just like that. And we're gonna take another one of these side parts and position it so it overlaps a little bit, but there shouldn't be too, too much overlap. And you can definitely use a variation of, um, a variation of balls. I think between two and two and a half look good. I think that maybe one might be a little bit too small. And a three is definitely too big because I bought two dozen of the three inch ones before I realized they would be too, um, too small, too big. Three inches are too big. So I just added a little bit of glue um, up, like, you know, on top of that top round piece that we did, just so that I can press down the side part, just so there's a little bit starting to peel away from the ball, but not too much. And that really gives it a very realistic paper, um, or it has, gives it a very realistic peony feel. And now we're just gonna do that last one. And that is it for this tutorial. But I want to let you guys know that there is a, um, there is a peony leaves tutorial on the same YouTube channel that you're watching right now. And I broke it up just cause um, I just think this, this, uh, this particular flower is a little overwhelming. So I wanted to break it up into, um, into a couple of different videos just so that this link, like, you know, you, no one wants to watch a two hour tutorial video. <laughs> And there's a couple of tips and tricks actually in that um, paper peony uh, leaves, specifically just for the leaves um, to video that um, will go into like some things and actually some things that aren't even included in the um, how-to booklet that comes with the kit. And I just wanted to give like a little bit of extra information without um, overwhelming, so. <laughs> 
there we go. Isn't that just a picture of a peony bud? So you can see how gorgeous they look together and in a in a little arrangement like that. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, um, you can get the kit that makes this paper peony at um, paperchickadee.net um, or paperchickadee.itsy.com. Um, the shop in paperchickadee.net will go to um, my Etsy unless everything's changed because I decided to change it but not update the end of this video. <laughs> but for now it is definitely paperchickadee.itsy.com that you can get this kit and that comes with all of the materials that you saw here except for q-tips and styrofoam balls and white glue. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Um, you can subscribe to my channel if you're so inclined. I would really love that and that'll keep you kind of up to date with all the different things that I've been up to in the studio. And um, if you're interested, you can also follow me on Instagram. Uh, my handle is Yakawanis and that is Y-A-K-A-W-O-N-I-S and that's at Yakawanis on Instagram and that's where kind of all the fun is. Um, I will do all sorts of different videos on um, my Instagram TV and different stills on the feed so it's a really good time over there so go and check it out and thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got a lot out of the video even if you didn't buy the kit because the most important part is to get your hands moving and making. So so uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.